as they interview the global legend Tokido. Hello, everybody. Uh, <laughs> it is so good to be back at EVO uh, and see so many people. Uh, and we're here today for a, a very special chance to talk to Takedo, one of the legends of EVO for sure, uh, one of our favorite players of all time. Uh, and we really appreciate his time today. And also, he's going to be attempting the interview. We're going to ask questions in English, and he's going to do his very best to answer in English, even though he's been, he already had some pre cute excuses. He's out of practice. <laughs> So okay, he's okay. making excuses already, but we really appreciate the effort. First off, when you first hear the word, what's the first thing that pops in your mind when you first hear the word Evo? I remember my first Evo. It was 20 years ago. I met you guys, and it was a very good memory. It's very, it's first time to my travel by myself, and it was very um, great. We have a fun time. And uh, US player come to the airport, then I use my first time English, but it's, it works. Then he said, John Choi said, oh, welcome, welcome to U.S. It was, uh, this is uh, my I image, if I, I hear Ibo, good memory. Well, that's, you mentioned, like, you came to Ibo 20 years ago. Yes. Um, at that time, the United States was not good. We had gone to Japan two years earlier, and we got wiped. Uh, so what made you want to come here to play to play in America? Mm. Because at that time I lost in Japan, Japan national tournament one year before first Evo, so I want to show my play. Then, the next year, I had Evo. Oh, I will win Evo CBS2. That is uh, my reason, first time to come here. One of the things you're famous for is you know, measuring the distance to the screen, to see how far, <laughs> to time reactions. But I want to ask about something else. You also sometimes do a brief moment we breathe, blink, and then begin again. Is this part of a meditation technique? And what, what's in your head before and what's gone after you take that moment? Yes. So one time I realized after the match, my heart rate beat so fast. So after every match, I need to be calmed down and long breathe, long. It make me comfortable to play next match. And maybe it works. My result show, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I feel like oftentimes when you're anxious, you store it not just in the mind, but in the body, right? Your whole yes. body. Yes, even I just crouch and play game, but my heart rate is very high speed. I need to be calm, calm down myself. I think it's very wise. Yeah. I think other players could benefit from that too. Yeah, your, your intensity in the game uh, is very, very high. And you have many nicknames over the years, as people have noticed. They call you Dirty Tokido, Murder Face Tokido, yes, yes. right? But outside of the game, you are so joyous. You, you love the game so much, right? How do you, can you talk about like in-game versus out-of-game and how you think about fighting games? Nah, 
<笑>そのやっぱ東急道がゲームやってる時の激しさがよくわかります、うん、ほら別の,あの名前がつけてるとかマダーフェイスだったりとかそういうのあるんですけど、はいはいはい、やっぱゲー,ムのゲーム以外のところにやっぱその時戸は結構うれしそうな人で、うん、明るい人なんでその違いはどう,どうですかどういう感じですかうーんとね難しい質問なんだけどだからちょっと日本語で答えさせてもらいたいんだけどやっぱこのファイティングゲームっていうのは本当に楽しいもんだからすごい楽しんでプレーしてるんだけどやっぱいざその試合ってなると僕はその競技として捉えてるからものすごくシリアスに。プレーするただでもやっぱりそれだけだともっともっといろんな人に、あのー、僕は広げていかなきゃいけないと思うからだからその格闘ゲームっていうのはこんだけ面白いもんだよっていうのは競技の外で外ではもう楽しくあの明るくアピールするし試合中はコンセントレートする。So basically when I'm playing a game I, I'm really trying to have so much the most fun that I can and I end up really focusing a lot and being really Really、uh, focused and serious. And then when I'm not playing the game, I want to kind of appeal to that other side of the crowd to kind of like bring people in and show people how fun games can be. So when I'm not playing games, I'm like to be as like, lighthearted and as, as、uh, open as possible. Mine. <laughs> He said, You're really good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think that's one of the things that fighting games embody really well is we compete and we focus and we want to win.、Yeah. But we're here to support each other and our journeys. To make each other better and just have a good time playing the games, right? And, and I've really admired that about you over the years and being an ambassador there. I guess on the same, same question, do you feel like the intensity of the game and the, the sense, the, the character of Murder Face, does that affect your normal life? Does it start to change the way you think in your just normal day to day life? How do you keep it separated? <笑>そのモーダーフェイスっていうその別キャラになるんですよ、東京ドさんは。はい、で、そのモーダーフェイスがその自分の本体に影響されるんですか、ゲーム,のいないゲーム以外に。あ、そういう、I don't play with mother face, but, <笑> but I cannot help. Yeah, in the match, I am very serious. So, only in the match. So, it, it doesn't care. Outside of the fighting game, I'm very ha- happy guy, <laughs> usually. Okay, I heard a rumor before this interview. I heard that one of your life goals was that if an alien race were to come to the,、uh, the, the world and we had to nominate one player to fight on our behalf, that you wanted to be that player. That was your goal. Is that Is that a rumor true? And if so, how are you progressing on this goal? So, I'm thinking about the future of the world. 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 Yes, I agree. I should be the guy to play. <laughs> Against the fighting game aliens. <laughs> As a representative of the ass. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> the, the people love、yes. that. <laughs> yes. Okay, so before the final match, when you have to defend the planet Earth, what is the one song you listen to right before the final match to get your blood pumping, to be at max power? What is that song? I don't know. <笑>そのや宇宙人のさとの対戦の最後の試合のあのー、音楽は何ですか自分選ぶんだったら自分が好きな曲とか。Oh, it is very difficult question. But recently, I I hear a lot. You know, Top Gun Maverick, Top Gun. And、uh, one, one Republic, one Republic. I ain't worried.、Oh, I ain't worried. Now it was、uh, my best song, so I hear a lot. So I, I want 
Is, you, is there like a scene that goes along with the song? Is there like the wind blowing in your hair? Like what's happening during the song? Yeah, but so no, Kyo Kyo, he's there. Toki ni image te ki ni wa, so no, atama no naka de dou yu image te ru desu ka? Head more. I have yes, yes. I have energy. Good. Well, you, you've had such a long career at Evo. Yeah. You've had many accomplishments. Is there any one moment that、uh, is very special to you or your favorite moment? Yeah, but Tokido, Tono, Evo, Tono, like you see, Ganaga in this case, Ichiban, Skina, Moidewa, Tigason, Ichiban, Moidewa, Nandesco. Five years ago, at the Evo 2017, it was a very tough tournament. Punk dominated all tournament, and、uh, all Japanese player lose to him 0 3. But yes, I, I finally beat him. He beat me in winners, but、uh, I make it. So it was、uh, my most emotional memory of Evo. Yeah, that was.、Um... Quite a turnaround. You,、um, it seems like the last in top eight, it was a different Tokido. You were much more focused, much stronger,、yeah. especially against Karen.、Yeah. Did, did you do any special preparation? Like, did you do anything between Saturday and Sunday to get in the right mindset? Or, so no, yes, I, I asked Mago, Mago was there, so that's why I, after the tournament, my interview, I have Mago. He t e a c h me everything how to, how should I do against a punk. And I pray, right? He t e a c h me, taught me. Yes, he is very nice training partner. He's better, he's very nice as a training partner. Also, he is a so so good player. <laughs> so so, so so. <laughs> I guess maybe. So, those are some of your favorite moments. What were some of your favorite moments for other players? Something that you witnessed somebody else do that was your favorite thing? So, somebody not you, but yeah. Like, no player, the most favorite memory is the most favorite moment. The most favorite moment is the most favorite moment. The most favorite moment is the most favorite moment. Yes. Uh, actually, I remember, no, this is not Street Fighter V, but Tekken,、uh, Arslan Ash won Evo 2019. It was the last, last Evo. It was very、um, amazing because I don't know Pakistan has a fighting game community or Not until at that time, but、uh, he won Evo. He beat、uh, so many good players. And now he's still dominating. So it was very. I, I was so shocked, and、uh, I feel now fighting game is everywhere. So, yes, I can enjoy fight more. Not before Japan. It's dominating, but now US is very good, Europe is very good. Now there's Pakistan, Dominican Republic, and yeah, everywhere, everywhere. So I'm very happy because I want to fight against a good player. I think this, this might be our last question, but one thing I would really love to hear is when you think about the fighting game community, What is one thing that really fills your heart with a feeling of gratitude about the community? What are you most grateful for? Community. 本当に真剣にプレーすればその人の,その人間性をも向上できる
と思,思えるんですよ、僕は僕自身本当にそう思ってプレーできる、本当にいいもんなんだなっていうのが。すごくいい,いいところだなと思ってます。So when you play, when someone plays serious, you can really feel what's in their heart. And in my opinion, that's something that is so amazing and can never be replaced. That's a very beautiful answer.、Yes. Um, let's thank Takito for his time today and some great answers. Thank you so much. And thank you for the translation help. And to my friend Tony, good to see everybody again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.